In this week's episode of Working with Todoist, it's all about emailing your tasks. Hello and welcome to this 127th episode of Working With Todoist. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I want to explain to you a little bit more about emailing tasks into Todoist. Now I admit I've covered this before but I've only covered this in its basic format and actually over the last few months Todoist has been improving this feature by a little bit, little bit, little bit, and it's been a little bit under the, you know, the, under the radar. I haven't actually seen this. I just came here across it recently when I was going through the Todoist blog, and I discovered that there have been a few little additional items added to this wonderful feature in Todoist. Now, this is a feature that I use pretty much every single day in Todoist, and the reason I do that is because some emails are a bit more time sensitive than other emails. Now, usually I will catch up with my uh, Calpoline productivity emails toward the end of the day because I live in South Korea, we're eight hours ahead of Central Europe and we're uh, probably about 18 or 19 hours ahead of the USA. So I can delay replying to those emails. So emails that come into me through the night, I can usually deal with later on in the day. But in my communication business, which I run here in South Korea, I have to deal with those pretty quickly because I could get an urgent proofreading email from one of the advertising agencies that I work with and they will want to reply within the next hour or two. So I would then immediately send this particular email to my Todoist so that I am only working from one inbox. And that is the reason why I use this feature so much because I don't want to be using my email inbox and my Todoist today list as my to-do list, sir, because I only need really one list. I want to see which tasks need to be done this morning, which tasks need to be done this afternoon, and which tasks need to be done this evening. So I'm going to take you into Evernote now. And at Evernote, I mean, I'm going to take you into Todoist now, and I'm going to show you just a couple of things that you can do with emailing tasks into Todoist so that you can get the best out of this feature. Before we go into Todoist though, I just would like to ask if you like this video, please click on the like button below. I think it's down this side. It is. It's down this side. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Okay, let's get into Todoist and I'll show you how I'm using email, forwarding email into Todoist. Right, the first thing I need to do is to show you how to set up your Todoist email address. Now, all your projects, all the ones down here, will give you access to the email address for each individual project. I recommend you do not do that. Several reasons, but the main reason is if you have so many e email addresses from Todoist in your contacts list, you're going to end up sending a task to the wrong place. It's going to get lost and you're not going to reply to the right email. One email, one project, and that project is your inbox. And to get that email address, you go into project actions, go down to the bottom, almost the bottom, and email tasks to this project. Click on that. That's going to open up a separate window and you copy to clipboard the email address that you have in here. So copy to clipboard. Mine is already copied. So that's all you have to do. Don't set up multiple projects with different email addresses. You're going to get into all sorts of trouble if you start doing that. One email, you get it for your inbox, so you send everything to one place, inbox. To process later, doesn't take very long. Okay, so that's first things first. Get your email address, project actions, down at the bottom, email task to this project, and get copy it to your contacts list. Save it as Todoist. 
The reason I show you that is now here I've, I've got Apple Mail set up here with a inbox. I, you see, I actually have inbox zero. So I've had to bring this out from a previous day. Um, this is just a newsletter I've got from Sean and Blank of the Suite setup. Now, let's say I want to read this later. So what I want to do is, uh, you see, I've already sent this off to myself. But uh, let's say I want to send this email to myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the forward. Uh, it's going to bring up a separate email address. I'm going to type in T because <laughs> I do this all the time. It's something I use all the time. Now you have two choices here. You can add things from your, uh, you can add this extra information in your subject or you can add it in the body. It's entirely up to you. So you can add, for example, I could do at computer here, which gives me the label computer. I can add P2 here to give me the actual uh, priority. And down here in the body, if I want to, I can, I can put this in the subject list. It doesn't matter. But the key to adding a date is these arrow key. I call them arrow keys. I don't actually know what they're called. But anyway, the arrow key, type in date and then today at 8 p.m. and then close the arrow key. And then all I have to do is just send that off. So off it goes. So it's gone. Uh, I'm waiting for the. There we go. It's just gone. So here we go back into my to do list. And just to show you, this is really actually very quick. As you can see, what's happened here is I've now got the label computer. Uh, my it's flagged P2 and it's added the date. Now this is really really useful if you're using, um, if you're using. A if you have a time sensitive email that's going to come up and if you've got notifications set up on your phone or on your computer that's going to show up now i want to show you how to do this in um in our let's show you how to do this in from gmail this is my gmail uh, account so i can click on that we can add in again we just go down to the bottom i'm going to forward uh, i'm going to add it to todoist it comes up and what i'm going to do is at computer uh, P3, we'll, uh, we'll call this P1, oops, P1, and I'm going to add in the date, uh, date uh, today at 9 p.m. and close that and send. So that's going to go, bang, off it goes, gone. So that's fantastic. So all I have to do now is go back to my to do it. This should come in uh, again reasonably quickly. Depends how fast Gmail is. Uh, you can always do the sync up there. Okay, and that's now come in. So I've called that one uh, P1 task. So that's come in here. Time attention, it's added the computer and it's added the time and date. Anyway, so that's it. That's what I wanted to show you today. I hopefully you found that useful. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. And it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week.